Today we're going to talk about how to push through as a black minority blogger or writer or any person of color. We're going to talk about that today and how to crush it. Yes, I am black. I'm actually really dark skinned, believe it or not. What up, wait, hold on. I wore this shirt in a previous video. Hold on. There we go. Believe it or not, that was a black person who said that to me in the party chat of Xbox. My name is Luchi and I help I'm all about helping bloggers and writers and all of that. So if you want all that help, I'm here for you. I just want to let you guys know I've dealt with a lot of racism despite how young I am. I was streaming on Twitch and I was doing an IRL talking about my content, talking about what I do, and then seconds later, a stream of racist raid came in. They called me the N-word, they called me disgusting black, they said show my parts, they said a lot of disgusting stuff. This was my second IRL stream. My first IRL stream was basically the same thing they said stuff like wakanda forever they said stuff like you know what kind of prison are you in you know all this stuff but you know, know. that movie was the bomb.com remember the right brandon gauntlets i was obsessed like hi you froze of course you've seen all over my content saying my biggest medical teacher supporter said i will never make it in medicine because of my race and dark skin color and i'll be checked by the fbi watch list because of it yes that's really long and i didn't know he said this because my classmates told me this during another class and i was like wow he said that and they were like yeah it it crushed me i want to let you know that when you become a blogger and you become a writer Hate is inevitable. You're gonna have to be ready to get non-believers because the non-believers are just as important as the people who will believe in you because they clarify who you should be specifically appealing to. The whole thing about this video is being a blogger as a person of color and in an ethnic group on the spectrum. It's hard. It's not common to find people like me who are writers and bloggers and are out there and killing it. And if you are out there, you are doing it. Let me just clarify, there's no way to act a race. You can't sound a race. Race is nothing but a color. This is just a color. The color of my skin doesn't dictate how I act, how I sound, anything. It's just it's a physical thing. It's a color, physicality, hair, that's it. And we're not gonna say these people are ignorant because a lot of people say, oh, the people who say that crap, it's ignorance. It's not really ignorance, it's just, a lack of understanding, let's put it that way. People call me an Oreo or they call me a white person trapped in a black person's body or if I'm whitewashed. I don't go off on them because I already know they're going through something crappy, so why would I add on to what they're going through? Because it has nothing to do with your race. It has to do with where you were raised. There's a lot of people who are born in other countries and they came to America and they have an Americanized accent because they were assimilated with the culture and they kind of adapted. It doesn't matter your race if you're raised in the boondock. <laughs> So you're gonna have an, a different accent if you're raised in the suburbs regardless of your race you're gonna have a specific accent the way that i really the best way for me to tell you how to deal with it is to just keep writing keep blogging keep being yourself and keep pushing it doesn't matter if you are the type of writer who's like i just see race as a color i'm not gonna promote it i'm not gonna you know fight for it because it's just a color or you can be that writer who fights for you know equality and, and states that believe stand behind it because like i said that could be a really amazing niche you know a niche is a, a specific target audience that you're writing for it's not a topic you know so if you came from an ethnic background you can talk about you know how to deal with it and you know how it's always you know life is hard out there you know our parents are hard on us and they want us to be our best you could write about that how to deal with it how to live that life of being an ethnic of an ethnic group you're not excluding anyone, you're targeting people. People are constantly saying, well, why isn't my blog growing? Because you're legit copying people in your niche. Target people that you're passionate about. Ugh. And I understand, I, I support people's opinions, I support what people talk about, but it can almost extend to racism. And you need to know when to put your foot down and not be afraid to set boundaries because people will stand behind someone who's serious about their blogging community and about their readers. So I would be honest, in high school, I'm, I'm still in high school, I would get so much racial slurs and I would come home and just think about 
I would be unproud of my race to that point. I would hate the skin I was in. I would just hate my existence and I wouldn't even stand in my own truth. Instead of fight back or go crazy, we need to understand why do these racists think this way? Why do these people go off on us? Or there's only so much we can do. We have to put that book down. Like I said, I don't have crazy stories. Um, I'm not gonna go on this pedestal and say, hey, I've made 10K bugging or have millions of clients or I'm living the life because I just started. All I can say here is I love this. I love writing. I love the online writing space. I love all the people in it and the people are just so passionate about it. So yeah, I, I can't stop saying this, but I recommend you don't even stay I made 10k blogging or stay I've been through this stuff because that will be very successful in the future but just state that you're learning in your blog you know that's why content's leaning towards you know like relatable content you know don't just say you know why I should listen to me but state them the backstory Take, state what's going on so that you can be a real human being but don't be freaking afraid to piss people off say like talk about what you're not against if you're not against if you're against racism and misogyny and homophobia and all that crap and junk then state it you know it's crazy how people are afraid to piss people off that but that's what prevents you from getting those true fans and growing because you're trying to appeal to everyone you will, will not appeal to anyone as a writer as a blogger just try to see a human being first please don't see a race don't see a color don't see a religion don't see a sexuality just see a human being and if they're a good human being then they're welcome i did actually make a video a lot a few months ago going over this topic but i felt like it was out of place so i redid it the truth to getting true engagement and getting the, that following of people who genuinely care about you is you have to make people care about you. You have to target a specific group, niche down to the core. What is a group of people that you're so passionate about, you know? Like I said, I appeal to people of color and my brothers and sisters out there because there's not a lot of us who are really crushing it out there, you know? Let me know, like, are there people out there? Because I'm alone, help. So you have to niche even further. Don't say, you know, I write for POCs, that's way too broad still. You have to say, what is their race? What is their age? What social medias do they go? What kind of videos do they watch? What kind of content do they consume? You legit have to make act like when you write a blog post, there's a person in front of you that you imagine in your head that is going to read your stuff. You don't want to be like a freaking archer who's shooting at different places and hope something sticks. You have to hit the bullseye like that. We shouldn't be competing against others in our niche because they have different missions, different purposes, different stories, different personalities. Just, they're all different. They all have different goals, even though they're writing about the same thing. There can be five writers in a room and the person's gonna resonate with the one that has the more compelling story, the one that compels with them both best, the person that compels with that one reader. See, if you stick like that, crap. So I wanna let you know if you're going through some things, it's going to get better, okay? I believe in you. You have to be willing to keep pushing through and keep sharing your past and just being there for the people who supported you and who loved you since the beginning. This clip that I wanna show you real quick of this really amazing streamer who supports POCs and has gone through some crap, you know, in her chat, you know, we played the checkbox and there was a crazy racist crappy person who freaking wrote something and this is how she responded it either <laughs> like i said in the beginning of the stream i can't control the skin i was born with for some reason people hate that and that has nothing to do with me i feel bad for those people i i feel sorry for those people because carrying around that kind of what was those youtubers say like and subscribe no really share this share this to a poc blogger or writer that you probably know about who really needs help Hopefully this can really kind of help them with some gaps they're going. There's a friend, your mom, your dog, your stuffed bear, anyone. They're ruining some, some demons that they're going through in their head. But don't forget that you are worth it. You have a purpose. Stand in your truth. Find your place in the ranks.